What's going on, guys? I'm still at it. Now we're sitting at 2.04 in the morning. Anyways, so I did some benchmark runs with the 3D marks, and I want to show you the settings for the GPU. I uh, increased the core clock by 80 megahertz, increased power limit to 114, and memory, I raised an additional 1,100 megahertz, and then opening DPZ, I will show you uh, where everything sits at. So... GPU 1732 memory 2225, which is an amazing overclock, and the boost it says 1927, but actually, uh, in the in the 3D mark it goes to uh 21 like 2100 megahertz, which is amazing for a 2080, you know, non uh, TI or uh kingpin for that case. Okay, so let me just close out this and reset the fan just so you don't hear it. Uh, GP fans. So I will show you the benchmark scores. Okay, so 3D Mark Fire Strike with the 9800KS uh, overclocked to 5.2 kHz and the GP overclocked to what I just said earlier is 26,631, which I think is a formidable score for a 2080 Super. Uh, I will look at my previous 2080 Ti, my lower end one, with lower end one I had previously. Before I had the 413, I had the uh, Kingpin. But I will check the S XC uh, Ti, which I had, which is the first 2080 Ti I ever got. But yeah, that's a very good score for a 2080 Super. I am not disappointed, not even the slightest bit. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, I lowered the CPU voltage uh, to 1.350, uh, and it was stable, by the way. And also, it lowered the temperatures a little bit, so I want to mention it one little tidbit. Okay, Port Royal, same settings, same GPU settings, same CPU overclock. Uh, voltage, I also had it at 1.350, 7,607, and then time spy, another formidable score, I think, 12,583, uh, pretty good CPU score, graphics score of 12,753, and again, same settings, and then let's just for reference, I will show you, cause I, I have like so many records of benchmarks, so let's go to the 2080 Ti XC model and fire strike. This is that stock, by the way. Also, it's a 9900K, which is my previous CPI previously. And if you look at that, 27,636. <laughs> that is pretty damn close to the 2080 Super, believe it or not. Uh, so it does show you that 9900KS plus the 2080 Super makes a pretty good job. Of course, this was a while back. Um, 3-16, so of course I'm taking some driver uh, variations uh, compared to now. But... Uh, Port Royal 8023. Again, this was at CPU at stock and 2080 TIXC at stock. And then Time Spy 13,047. Again, at stock. But you know what? That is pretty darn close to uh, my score with the uh, 2080 Super. Oh, I'll go back to this for reference. So, this is the Super. Look how close that is. I mean, that is like <laughs> not far at all. So, that just proves my point that. The 2080 Super is pretty darn good for what it is. So I'm going to wrap it up, guys. It's late. It's 2.08 a.m. i got to go to work tomorrow. So I'm going to wrap her up. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'm going to go to sleep. Hopefully if I can fall asleep. And uh, I will see you guys next time for the next video. So thanks for watching. Lose the break signing out. And uh, peace out. And have a good night. Peace.